<laughs> and now it's time to finally move on to my topic of the show, which is a very untraditional topic. It's not a news topic. I actually was once again invited to a week with Luna on a free beta. So I spent the moon the week, of the Amazon. Luna, the Amazon Luna. streaming service. So I spent a week playing Luna. games through Amazon's video game streaming service on both, or not both, on my work PC in the Chrome browser, on my uh, gaming laptop that I have here that we're recording on right now, on the browser and the native app, and on my phone. So those are the three devices I chose. Uh, I could have put it on the Fire Stick. I chose not to do that because I don't do a whole lot of stuff in my bedroom with the television other than watch to go to bed. This was so, an experiment. You had a job and you failed. I <laughs> think I completed We expected 75%. a full review with notes. I completed 75%, which is passing. Thank you. Barely. Thank you. Okay, so... If you so, did 75% of a surgery, they would still die. I'm just saying. It depends on the surgery. <laughs> so, looking at Luna, I was a little skeptical. Like, right, we've talked about Stadia. It's, it's circumstance. All of us have played Stadia in some degree or another and have not been satisfied with our experience, at least not early on. I don't know when's the last time you guys have touched Stadia. I have not touched Stadia in quite some time. I don't, I don't know. I have the, I, I've touched the controller recently because I moved it from one dusty part of my desk to a different dusty part of the of the office yeah, here, but that's about it. On it and you had to clean it off. You can use a Swiffer duster just in case you're wondering. I can, it's not going to get that off. No, I mean, there's a, a finger, sh- there's a, there's like a, there's like a handprint shaped, you know, like non-dusty section on it now, but like that's okay, about perfect. it. Perfect. Okay. Um, so I was very curious when Amazon announced this, of course, right? Like we've talked about their studios, how they're kind of floundering. Crucible was a giant embarrassment last year where they announced it and a month later <laughs> unannounced it. Never mind. <laughs> it was it was not great. So uh going into this, I was highly skeptical. And so I started on my phone. I'm using a Galaxy Note 10. Uh, that, that's uh what I've been using for quite some time. I use it to stream uh my PlayStation. Uh I have the PS4 controller here. And so I will stream my PS5 here, play PS4 games on my PS5 via my phone, enjoy the hell out of it. And it works very, very cleanly in my house. So uh, booting up Luna, it worked wonderful on my cell phone. Uh, hmm. I played, uh, actually I can probably pull this up because I would make it. Did you play on sense. Wi-Fi or just, or a cellular, cellular? You have to play on Wi-Fi. You cannot play on cellular signal. Uh, Interesting. It's, it's similar to most streaming services. Uh, the, uh, PlayStation uh, remote play won't allow you to play without cellular signal. I'm sorry, with cellular signal, you have to play on uh, Wi Fi. Uh, I thought Stadia required it, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played uh, with Stadia. The rules, I change. don't know. I unfortunately, I have an iPhone now, so I can't even go back and tell you what the you hell you, yeah. capabilities for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the first game I played was Shantae Risky's Revenge. So if you're not aware, Shantae is an old Game Boy Color game. I figured if I started the bare minimum product, (laughs) if it doesn't work, (laughs) it's not going to be great. And Shantae was a lot of fun. It worked really well. I played for about an hour, enjoyed it, moved up to uh, Ease 9. I'm sorry. No, I moved up to Control, actually, because I have played Control recently. John, you and I have discussed this. I'm familiar with the game. So my goal was to try and find games I wasn't familiar with and games I was familiar with to kind of get a a feel for it. So hopping into Control, I ended up playing for about 30 minutes. And on my phone, despite the UI being incredibly tiny, that game worked like a dream. It looked incredible. Like the small screen size allowed those textures to really pop in a way that I did not expect. I really enjoyed every aspect of it. No lag. And I mean, no lag in a game that is full of nothing but, um, like particle effects and stuff. And so this is huh. like what the setup looks like. Cause I got a little clip here. So it's the phone and all that stuff. A lot of fun. Um, really expecting it to go, completely awry and control ran like a dream uh, arguably the same as ed ran on my ps4 when i was playing it earlier this year so now you said complete- it was slightly buggy on that too right just to make oh. that clear well on the ps4 it had a few problems uh i didn't get to those parts on the luna to be fair like because it didn't happen until later in the game um you know, I like control. I don't love control. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to kind of play around. <laughs> so I probably played control for about an hour and a half. I played Shantae for about 30 minutes and then decided, all right, it's time to move on to my PC. So I popped onto this gaming laptop, which is decent, right? Like we talked about specs last year. That's when we bought these machines, John and I, uh, and moved on to ease, uh, nine, eight, 
Is it really eight? Oh yeah, nine's coming out this year. Yeah. He's eight, which is a uh, lacrim- nine. What? <laughs> yeah, Lacrimosa of Dana. So for those who aren't aware, this is an action RPG series from Famicom, uh, Falcom. It's an, a Jap- uh, Japanese studio. They're very kind of low budget, but they're fun. And I played it on Vita uh, for both games. It's also available on PS4. The newest one's coming out exclusively for PS4 and PC. So these games are fantastic. They're high action. They're very frenetic. It fucking sucked playing Ease on my PC. I played it originally on the on the client. I'm sorry. I played it originally the browser because I was like, cool. I'm just gonna see if it works in the Chrome browser. No. It does not. That's the answer. It, it just oh. is not at all. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm talking screen tearing, lag. I nearly died in the first boss fight. The first boss fight, like the easiest boss in the entire game, I nearly died because the game would not register my rolls to dodge the attacks. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. So the strength in not necessarily as strong as stadia here is that you can save and then of course transfer to whatever device works for you uh but you have to get to a safe point you can't just end it and get a safe state which is what stadia does right like stadia just takes stadia just saves the entire state of what you're playing and loads it immediately back up the way you had it like now this comes from the disadvantage of running the windows uh, version of the game is because they're running the Windows version of the game. It is nothing but that. So because of that, it operates on how that game would work originally on a PC. Um, so for uh, Ease, it has save points. I had to get to a save point in order to move on to the actual client that they ask you to download onto your PC, which I did. So I saved, brought it back up. Worse. Worse than Chrome. <laughs> I couldn't oh, believe no. it. Wow. Yeah. I oh, was like, no. I played for five minutes. I was like, I can't do this. Like, I have played this game on a Vita better than I played in the, this powerful gaming PC. Uh, that's not a surprise. Vita was an amazing machine. And Vita means life. Yeah. 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 So moving on, I just I decided to try control because I was like, all right, well, maybe it's the game. I don't know. I, I didn't look into reviews. I was just curious. Dive into control. Unplayable absolutely unplayable um for reference i i started playing uh originally around like eight or nine at night when i first tried it when i tried it on pc it was around five so it's around when everyone's still on the internet and then i tried again at like 10 in the morning and then at like midnight because i was basically going off of my internet traffic to kind of figure out where this lands uh arguably the five o'clock worked the worst but still worked well on mobile because i moved it back to mobile and played ukulele on mobile completely fine ukulele like a -a collect-a-thon platformer perfectly content with uh enjoying that so no issues no bugs i played ukulele on switch it was better than playing on switch so that was fun um from there, I moved to Abzu, which is uh, a nice, gentle game similar to Journey, where you're just floating around as a diver. Played that again on my phone, and then the Mummy Demastered, which is like a 2D platformer. Was again, Abzu I pro- made by that game company? Made, made by people who left that game company to start Giant Squid. Giant Squid. I was thinking Octopus, and I was like, why is that running in my head? They just released the Pathless on PS5, which people are very happy with. I've been mm. meaning to check it out. But uh, my overall impressions are that this on the mobile platform is incredible. Like it requires a gamepad. You cannot play without it. I don't think there's any on-screen controls. Like I know Stadia has that option. Luna did not. It, it, it is a matter of fact, it wouldn't even load if I didn't have my gamepad connected. And one of the few bugs I had is if you don't touch the gamepad and you have to refresh the browser, you have to then touch the gamepad again for it to register. So even though this is synced through Bluetooth, if huh. the, the, cause there's two major complaints on mobile. One is that issue. The other one being the browser would constantly crash, not while playing a game, but while looking through the library. I shit you not. I would try to like oh get to God. a game and it would just crash. I was like, I can stream this perfectly fine, but I can't find the game I want to play right now. This is kind of a problem. Uh, but for $6 a month, you know, you don't have to use a DualShock 4. You can, uh, 8-Bit Doe, is a company that makes like controllers that are very similar to uh, SNES controllers. I actually have one around here. I don't have it available to me, but I mean, arguably they're, you know, they can be this small, no joke. And so you're talking about it, this with your phone, that's a handheld, that's a Nintendo DS basically. And that's completely viable. And for six bucks a month, I could see this being a platform I would use wholeheartedly there's enough games already in the library that i would like there's the additive of the ubisoft account which you have to buy which kind of sucks 
Um, but with that, Ubisoft is uploading all of their games. So rather than just like a smattering, I mean, you could play Valhalla right now. You could play Immortal Phoenix Rising, Watch Dogs Legion. Like hmm. everything they've released recently is available here. As a matter of fact, this week they re-released the Scott Pilgrim versus the World game. You can play that on Luna. So That's they're all, keeping... Was- so I, w- I was just looking at this, actually. I find it interesting that, that Ubisoft's going for the release there as well. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, so actually, the key game that's on Stadia right now is also Scott Pilgrim versus the World Complete Edition. Of course, of course. So I, I find it interesting that, that Ubisoft's sort of going the avenue of supporting all of them for all of these so far, uh, because it really gives us a good basis to try everything. Agreed. Agreed I, I like entirely. That. Pathless again, does look amazing, by the way. But it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. it sounds like Amazon definitely has some work to do there. So yeah, it's they still have, new and they their launch was already better than Stadia. So this is a beta. That, that's the <laughs> thing too. It's a paid beta, but it is a beta because you will have to pay after a certain amount of time. Um, the PC aspect, it's just undoable. Like, like I could not recommend anybody ever try this on their PC, whether that's it's the so browser, surprising. whether through its thing. It, it it blew me away as well. I was completely content into trying to see how this could work. Well, the uh, fact that it was in, working on your phone and then not the PC is making me think it's not an internet issue. It's something screen going size. on. Yeah. It's screen size is what I thought. Um, mostly because when you're outputting that kind of, uh, of uh, resolution, you're taking up more computational power. And so they're like, all right, well, this takes more, so we're going to have to push more. Whereas on my phone, it could be, it it arguably could have been 480. I would never have noticed. But because of the yeah. size of the screen and the crispness of like the textures and everything else, it looked fantastic. So, right. you know, overall, I think if you're going with a game streaming service, uh, I have not tried xCloud, so I can't speak to that. But between Stadia right. and Luna, I'm on Luna's side. Like yeah. Luna already has equal, if not more releases. They have games that I'm interested in and they have the additive of the Ubisoft channel. Now that costs you more money, but, but overall, but sta- there's but Stadia an Ubisoft had- channel on games, uh, game pass too, isn't there? Yeah, but it's not additive. You don't have to pay more for it. But, but Stadia had cyberpunk running really well, except, Oh wait, they don't have cyberpunk anymore. It's the only <laughs> I, I went I went to Stadia because I was going to make the joke of, oh, you know, cyberpunk runs really well on Stadia and everything seemed to go well, you know, with that, except if you go to their store, it's no longer available for sale. That's amazing. That's awful. That's, that's the only place it was playable. Right. I think I think Google uh, probably did the whole uh, the same thing as, you know, the rest of them of like, yeah, we're we're just not going to support this game if it's really going to be this terrible. So. Oh man, that's amazing. I feel for that um, company. I do. But you know, you... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. It is here. I'm sorry. It is okay. it is here. Okay. Uh, when I searched for it, it didn't show up initially. Hurry up, make weird. your joke. It's not too late. I already made it. <laughs> so <laughs> Luna Luna costs six bucks a month for early access. Lu- Ubisoft at, like channel on it at costs fourteen dollars a month. And I cannot tell if that actually includes Luna as well. So that that would arguably be the biggest downside. I mean, if you're in the mood to play, I mean, uh, if you do that, obviously you're like, all right, these are the games that I'm going to be playing. I want to knock out playing my Ubisoft games and take that out. They, I mean, they do have some like, you know, Division's got is, some games yeah. of service stuff, but most of them you could play just to knock out within a couple of months. So. Is is well, any of that based on the idea of an Ubisoft Plus subscription or? Yes, maybe. It has it has the imagery for Ubisoft Plus, but it doesn't give details. That's like another big problem mm. is that the communication on this because it's through Amazon site. Like if you go to Amazon.com slash Luna, you can find everything you're looking for there. And it's a little bit cumbersome to get around. And I completely understand that this is early access. And I don't think they're necessarily looking for everyone to hop in right away. They're trying to right. test this over time. But it is a little frustrating because trying to find the proper information can be cumbersome. Um, okay. But, you know, you know, for m- me, myself, I am going to my father's this weekend um, to spend some time down there. I'm bringing this. I'm bringing my phone. I'm going to try it some more down there. I accidentally did not unsubscribe from the beta, so they charged me. <laughs> so I, I paid six bucks for the next month. I'll 
continue on it. And if uh, I come back with some more pressing impressions, I'll let you guys know. But I would argue right now that if you're just looking to fool around and six bucks a month sounds good to you, I would jump in. I think it's worth that. You know, uh, yeah. I, I can't say like a Twitch game. Uh, like they have a couple on here, like Blasphemous and Bloodstained, which is like a Castlevania. Like I'm not quite sure how well those will work, but I'll mess around with them and I'll come back and report back. Okay. Sounds so, good. That sounds good. Please let us know what your thoughts are. Are you looking forward to something like a game streaming service like Luna? Are you hesitant? I am very curious about the actual opinion of this because there's so much where I feel conflicted because while playing Luna, I was very excited about it. Coming off of Luna, I also remembered that I have a thousand handhelds and literally started an emulator on my phone today for a Game Boy uh, advanced emulator. And I was like, oh, well, I might just play that instead. <laughs> so I go back and forth a lot. But I'm curious, is, leave your comments... Fun. This is when Brent gets sued. No, it's not an emulator. It's a thing I made myself. I'll uh, leave it right <laughs> behind my head where the Jurassic Park poster is. But now I think it's time for Last Call. <laughs> <laughs>